it's just for every other book. If it's not a bingo book, We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. been a while <laughs> happy new year happy 2022 um she's ready for the day the kids have been up for a minute i don't even know where to start i have tried to start this a few times before but the reality is that there's so much to catch up on because it just feels like so much has changed my favorite place to be is just right in front of the bookshelf on the floor here yes. but yes. i am working on um the kids binders my binder, the kids binders, our printable binder, and bring you along on a little bit of our day and kind of share about the many things that have changed, friends, the many things <laughs> that have changed. Um, Y'all know we are all about all things digital, but the kids lately have requested some more physical things. So I wanna separate like my record keeping binder from um, their binder that they go and pull our printables from. I just got a new set of color pencils that I kind of love and I'm stocking their um, pencil cases with that. I think my camera is, my camera's in its last days so <laughs> it requires a whole lot of fixing. Anyway, um, your girl has a whole new job, okay? <laughs> so that has shaped um, a lot of the way we're doing things lately um in our quest for our gap year there has been so many ups and downs they have been good ups and downs but i ain't gonna lie to you they have been really um frustrating because things just don't seem to be working out the way that i imagine them in my head and um yeah it's been a challenge but uh we are forever like pausing pivoting and persevering that's what i like to tell the kids so yeah i'm a whole like work at home mom uh, maybe i'll share a little bit more about my position in the future but for the most part i'm just really trying to get this whole um transition kind of under wraps for me so if you guys uh uh, work at home which I know so many of you do um, y'all can send all the tips my way okay because I'm gonna need them <laughs> first of all I have had to I've had to really reassess and account for my time very differently um, than I have in the past and I have to be a lot more serious about the time that I'm spending on things um, and that's been a good thing for me but it has been quite challenging i've had a lot of major like health stuff going on um so that's not really something i'm probably going to share too much about um just because it's been a whole journey but just know that it's going on and it is a lot of the reason why i have you know it's just brought a lot of challenge to um my life lately so that's been a thing. We almost have a whole teenager here, okay? <laughs> Cameron's birthday, Kendall's birthday just passed and it was glorious. I think I'm gonna catch up on that and a little bit of memories from that um, in a video in the future. Um, but Cameron's birthday is right around the corner and my baby is going to be a whole 13 years old and we have like so many feelings about that around here. Um, basically he is loving his childhood and uh, he is watching it kind of slip away so he says um but he's so cute about it anyway Cameron is going to be a whole 13 years old I'm gonna have a whole teenager friends and I have all the feels about that but I'm very excited I'm very excited to just really shape childhood in um 
a very pure way for them and I want to continue do, to do that uh, throughout their teenage years and their adult years and all that stuff so that's kind of exciting for me I have mixed feelings about it but y'all can share please because <laughs> I feel like um, people say that it moves so fast but um, yeah I need to know details okay <laughs> what have you done to protect um, that shift you know what I mean that uh, transition what have you done if you've been through it um, or you're looking forward to it like what are some things you're brainstorming as far as how to like really protect and treasure that transition from one stage to another with our kids it's just it goes quickly but at the same time I feel like I've made decisions that have allowed me to soak all of it up and that makes me very um, happy anyway so um, I'm about to have a whole teenager and that's exciting uh, what else has changed? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to say the whole gap year disaster type of thing for another video. It hasn't been a disaster, but it certainly felt like it. Um, so I'll update you on how that is going. I still wouldn't trade this part of the journey. I'm still very much so glad um, for everything that we've tried and um, just, just our whole journey in general. Like... Uh, with homeschool and life I <laughs> there's a lot of challenges a lot of ups and downs but I wouldn't trade them because that's what makes life so beautiful so anyway I will catch you up on that probably in another video in a little bit more detail how our gap year is going some of the changes we had to make the adjustments we made a lot of it is um, mental a lot of it is things that you know just pushing pressing through the um, norms that society likes to push on you or we feel like society is pushing things on us and that's been a challenge for me as their mom but we we persist <laughs> that's what we always do so there's just been so much Brian got a promotion at his job which is wonderful and I'm so proud of him so happy for him uh, with that has come some pivoting and some changes uh, he used to have a field position um, and so he had a company car from that position and now that his position has changed a bit uh, we no longer have his company car so we are down to one car again such as life like this is about the third time that we have been in this place where we are operating off of one car as a whole family and um, just you know God has placed all the things where they need to be for that to be a comfortable transition for us right now and uh, we can still take our time in trying to find a car that fits our needs so there's that there's just been one thing after the other we had to uh, our refrigerator died we had to purchase a new refrigerator our whole electric panel in our house had to be replaced so that was a thing the trim um, on our house had to be replaced yeah it's just been so many like you know life things going on uh, that I feel like can be overwhelming if you allow them to be because like we're all adults <laughs> okay i know i am well into my adult phases here but man sometimes it just hits you like we're whole like adults so um and i cannot be the only one that feels this way yeah i need some tips for working at home i'll share more about that in the future and then i just kind of want to talk more about our creative business updates how things have had to move around and change a bit um they're exciting things and it's so much easier for me to say that here with you because they have felt so irritating along the way but that is part of the process and i'm really trying to embrace that and then the other thing I just kind of want to talk about at some point is some channel updates. Um, because my um, goals have been adjusted and changed, I need to figure out what to do with this channel. I have ideas, I have thoughts and feelings, all of those things, but at this point I think I need help from my friends. Just trying to figure out 
you know, how we want to move, how we want to share. Um, the content is always rolling because we're whole filmmakers over here. So that is always being collected and sorted through and tucked away for when those things are needed. But just trying to use wisdom in figuring out how to share, when to share, all those type of things. I'm just going to be pulling on you guys. Um, uh, a lot more than I have been in the past so yeah I need my friends <laughs> all right I'm gonna get the kids ready for our study time during the day we're gonna hang out we're gonna read we're gonna have quiet writing time um, and yeah just get on with our day You never sit crisscross applesauce in your in your chair. I do. I'm done updating them on all of our printables and our record keeping and stuff. I'm glad I got that out of the way. And now the kids are having lunch and watching Weird But True because it's one of their favorites. And I'm going to watch some type of book video and get some lunch myself. We focused on reading our earlier years of homeschool life and now we've moved on to our writing goals. Love the way that has panned out and just kind of having those years for strengthening our writing skills so so anyway um we are getting into writing time the kids pretty much take writing time several times during the day because they love it so much um but that's basically what we kind of have left or what's left on the schedule to do today thought i would get around to talking a bit more about all the things that have changed some of the um channel things and the creative business things but maybe we'll get to that in another video um but that's pretty much how i'm about to wrap this one up friends <laughs> just what we have left um on our schedule for the day and then i can make my way to these clothes and other like domestic things that i need to accomplish in life right now um like figuring out dinner and <laughs> those types of things, but anyway. Our writing time has been everything around here lately. Very similar to our quiet reading time, we now have quiet writing time. We spend a lot of time writing freehand, um, but mainly writing digitally, using our electronic keyboards and or our devices to just write. In addition to just writing, we always love using a good app or two in order to help us move along the way. Um, we have a lot of apps inside a writing folder on their devices, but one of the apps they really enjoy using is Night Zookeeper. Tips for looking after cats. She writes a lot. Um, it's more of a program and we always love when an app is guided by a full curriculum that you can lean into if you need to. The kids spend time writing in the app as well as playing a lot of the vocabulary games that they have so much fun with. Uh, we've really enjoyed using Night Zookeeper for the past year or so and I'm currently working on a blog post that lists all of the resources that we have tried and loved in the past and the first one on the list here is Night Zookeeper. I have an affiliate link that we will leave in the description box below if you want to give it a try for 50% off an annual subscription. So yeah, your friend's just out here doing whatever she can to make writing time a little bit more magical. Looky, looky, friends. We have a box of bookies. <laughs> Shall we see what's inside, friends? Okay, so we started back up with our story time, which we've always loved. Um, but then I think it just kind of got away from us. And yes, 100% we do read picture books in the morning. 
it's a story time. So I wanted to order some picture books. Um, Barnes and Noble had a 50% off hardcover sale at the end of the year. And then also from other places, picture books can just be so expensive. <laughs> so when they were younger, um, I always just got them from the library and the library is right next door. So it was really convenient for me. And then I just kind of got away from it started racking up a lot of fines at the library because we read so much and I'm not as disciplined with taking them all back all the time. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, we, it just got away from us and now because we are bringing story time back, um, I, I have been trying to be diligent in, um, what was I saying? Yeah. Oh, since we're bringing story time back, I wanted to add some more picture books to our shelves. So uh, whenever there is a sale, I can find it. I try to snatch them because otherwise we just we just can't afford to do all the books we buy plus picture books too. into audio books lately <laughs> so we're trying to find the audio version of wings of olympus i don't want to do my this audio book. book two um i did purchase book one but it did not come in in time so she's going to i think either read it on the device or she's gonna wait for yeah. the audio book but, but the audio book doesn't the come out until the 27 what hey, friends i'm going to switch over to getting some laundry done and um prepping for work tomorrow <laughs> but um thanks for hanging out with us today i love it if you would chime in to let me know let us know um some of the things you would like to see from us this year i'm gonna have to be a lot more diligent with my time since i'm a whole work at home stay at home homeschool at home whatever you want to call it kind of mom so uh don't forget to leave me some tips um, let me know your experiences, things that have worked for you, things that haven't worked for you, the ups and downs, the highs and lows, whatever you feel like sharing. Um, I'm excited to be back and kind of sharing in this space for this new year. I'm excited for the days ahead, the ups and downs, the highs and lows. Um, make sure that you check the link in the description box um, for our code for Night Zookeeper and also be on the lookout for um, that post on our website that is going to cover all of the resources that we've used over the years. I am steady working on it. As soon as it's done, I'll let you know, but make sure that you are subscribed to our newsletter. Remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn. Hi. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe! subscribe.